it's Celeste Angelica and today's video is going to be a very exciting one because I am here to share with you my top 10 drugstore makeup favorites. And I love me some drugstore makeup products because it's cheap, it's affordable, and a lot of times you can get the same exact look for much cheaper than if you were to use luxury products. This is also going to be a super special video because it is a collab with my friend Roxette Arisa. She is gorgeous and has the greatest, most bubbly personality. You guys will love her if you haven't already seen her before. And if you haven't, definitely head on over to her channel and subscribe to her because she is going to be sharing with you her top 10 luxury makeup products. If you've just stumbled across my channel or you're coming over from Roxette's channel, I encourage you to please hit the subscribe button for me it would really help me out and make my day and I'd love to have more people view my videos because I make them every single week so definitely do that also follow me on snapchat and Instagram and Twitter because I really really love social media and I'm on Instagram and snapchat every single day love them so definitely follow me on those if you are interested they will be linked down in the description box and without rambling on any further, let's just get into my top 10 drugstore makeup favorites. My absolute favorite foundation from the drugstore as of currently is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. I love this because it is exactly what it says it is. It gives you the most incredible matte look to your skin. I'm wearing it right now. It's super affordable. I love Maybelline. It's just really creamy, but it's also super hydrating. I have really, really dry skin. So I'm always looking for foundations that are more water-based or that are said to be hydrating. So I was really excited when I found this. This is in the shade Sandy Beige, and I really love this product because it really, really blends with my skin perfectly, so I'm really happy with this one. My favorite drugstore concealer is hands down the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I'm pretty sure that this is probably everyone's favorite drugstore concealer. It's just so, so incredible. It's great quality for being so affordable. It has a really, really nice sponge applicator. It's really soft on your skin. It blends really well. It's so, so great at brightening your under eyes and covering up the dark circles. I could go on and on about this product forever, but I've mentioned it so many times in the past, so I'm just going to leave it at that. As far as my favorite drugstore blush goes, this is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Blur Blush. This is in the shade Soft Peach. As I said, I have super dry skin, so I feel like it just blends in perfectly, and I really like that it's a cream blush because you can really build it up. Sometimes with blush specifically, I have the issue where I'll just be too heavy handed and I'll apply way too much. And it's a little bit more tough to blend out if it's powder versus cream. So I really, really like this one because you can take it slow and sort of build it up to however intense you want it to be. And it just gives you the most subtle pink flush. It's definitely a soft peach, which I really like. It's true that it blurs it because it just blends in seamlessly with your skin and it looks really, really flawless, so I love this blush. Favorite bronzer would have to be the e.l.f. Sunkissed Glow Bronzer. This is actually something that I use specifically just to bronze up my skin. I don't ever use it for contouring because it's definitely too light for that, but it is just this beautiful gold, and as you can see, I've hit pan because I use it quite often. Now, if you want to talk affordable from the drugstore, e.l.f. is definitely one of the most affordable brands. So I really, really enjoy this one because it's cheap, so once I run out, I can easily access another one. And it just gives you like the most beautiful golden bronzy beach goddess glow. So I really, really love it. And I like to layer this over darker bronzers that I use to contour. As far as highlighters go, I don't know why, but I'm super, super picky when it comes to highlighters, so I don't really stray away from my luxury ones too much, but I do have one from the brand ColourPop, which is an online store. This is a Super Shock Cheek Highlighter from ColourPop in the shade Lunch Money. This isn't technically a drugstore makeup brand, but I feel that they would fit this category because they are so incredibly affordable. I want to say that this highlighter was like six or eight dollars. I'm really, really in love with this highlighter. It is so, so creamy and beautiful. It's just this really, really light white gold. So it is just absolutely stunning on. I like to apply this and then add just a little bit of a powder highlighter on top if I'm going for like a serious glow that day. So here I will just apply it lightly so you can see because I forgot to put a highlighter on. It's just 
so, so stunning. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not sure how much I'm applying on. It feels so soft and smooth on your skin. And I just, I love it. It's beautiful. As far as favorite drugstore eyeshadow goes, I could not narrow it down to just one. So I am going with this. This is the Morphe 35D palette. Now this is 20 some dollars I believe, but it is affordable because you get so many shades in the palette. I mean seriously, look at that. I think when you buy them online individually, they're crazy cheap. Like some even cheaper than eyeshadows you might buy at an actual drugstore. I specifically love the 35D palette because I oftentimes struggle to find eyeshadow palettes that have amazing smoky eye colors for more cool toned looks. I love this one because it has every shade for a cool toned look that you could ever possibly need all in one large palette. So I definitely give this 10 out of 10 because they have an amazing array of shadows. They have some that are satin, some that are more metallic-y, some that are shimmery, and some that are just plain matte. So I really, really recommend this if you are interested. If you've ever tried a Morphe eyeshadow, then you know it's incredible. They apply so seamlessly. They are super, super blendable shadows and they have amazing color payoff. They are such highly pigmented eyeshadows. I just love them. Another thing that surprised myself that I picked is this eyeliner. This is definitely my favorite drugstore eyeliner. And the reason I'm surprised is because I normally would always, always, always pick a liquid eyeliner because those are what I use every single day of my life. I'm super picky. First world problem. It is the Maybelline Master Drama in Midnight Master and I just absolutely love the formula of it. It is so so creamy. It's definitely like a jet black, like a true deep dark black and it applies on so smoothly and I really like the applicator because it is just like this tiny tiny fine pointed gel crayon so it's really really easy to work with. I usually use this to tight line underneath my top lashes or otherwise I use this on my lower lash line and then sort of smoke it out and blend it out with a little brush if I'm not feeling like using eyeshadow for a smoky look. So I definitely love this. It lasts all day. If I put it on my lower lash line, it will seriously stay there for hours on end. Whereas most gel or pencil eyeliners that I've ever tried sort of start to smear and droop a little bit and make you look like you have raccoon eyes, which no one wants raccoon eyes. So I definitely, definitely recommend this. Favorite mascara. Now normally I would always have said the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black because that one is amazing, but I actually chose to mention the CoverGirl Supersizer Mascara. I'm not usually a huge CoverGirl person, I don't have anything against their brand, but I just normally lean towards Maybelline, L'Oreal, and Milani when it comes to drugstore products, but this Supersizer Mascara is incredible. My huge thing when I'm looking for a mascara is I want something that truly will volumize while also lengthening. It's so incredibly hard for me to find good quality mascaras like that because normally they will make them look really, really thick, but then you can't really see them at all because I have really, really short lashes. So it's really, really hard because I will do a thick winged eye and then you can't see my lashes at all. So I always am looking for one that will lengthen also. I have no problem with using one for volumizing and one for lengthening and sort of layering up, but if I can find all in one, then that makes it a lot more convenient. The formula is great, the packaging is adorable, I really can't complain about this product at all. It's amazing. Favorite brow product, this is something that again I normally gear towards the more high-end versions of because I've used them for so long and they've just really proven to work really well for me, so I just normally stick with them, but I do have a couple brow products and my favorite one is definitely the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. This is an amazing brow gel mascara. I often have a hard time with brow gels where it'll be way too dark and it'll almost make them look black or it'll be too light and it'll just look weird. This is so true to color, it matches perfectly. It's got an amazing applicator. The wand is so incredibly long that you can work it in any angles that you really wish to. It stays all day long. I never have any issues with any powder fallout or any spots missing throughout the day. It'll lock all of that in and just make them look flawless all day long. Love it. And as far as favorite drugstore lipstick goes, this was incredibly hard for me. If any of you know me, 
you know that I have a disgusting amount of lipsticks. I have a lipstick addiction. It's a thing. Moving past that, it was really hard for me to choose one, but I've narrowed it down to two that are actually fairly new from Revlon. These are the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors and I narrowed it down to two of my favorite, but I'm actually just going to mention the one because I use this way more often. This is in the shade Flirtation. This is just the most incredible lip stain ever. It is so matte, it's really creamy, it doesn't make your lips feel dry, which I have a very, very hard time finding drugstore matte lipsticks that don't feel super drying to my lips. The color payoff is incredible. It is just the most beautiful, creamy, pinky, orangey coral color. Love it. The formula is great, and I also think the packaging is absolutely adorable. It's totally different from any other products that I've really seen at the drugstore. And I love it because they made it matte. That is something that like really, really, really makes my OCD self happy. If it's a matte lipstick, I feel like the bottle and the packaging should be matte. If it's glossy, glossy. Make a glossy finish to the bottle. I think it's incredible because yes, the product itself is the main thing, but I also feel that the packaging and the way that you sell a product is huge as well. So I give it a 10 out of 10 for packaging and look, and you guys know I'm obsessed with matte liquid lipsticks, so. This is a winner. And that brings us to the end of my top 10 favorite drugstore makeup products. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a big thumbs up so that way I know. Comment down below if you guys have ever tried any of these products or if you haven't, which one you're interested in trying because I highly recommend everything I just mentioned. They're all amazing products. Don't forget to head on over to Roxette's channel to see her top 10 favorite luxury products. And if you're interested in watching our previous collab where we did vice versa, then I will also leave those in the description box below as well. Go show her some love. I really love her. She's awesome. If you haven't already, then please subscribe to my channel. It would be really, really Really cool of you I'd really appreciate it you can follow me on all of my social media linked it down below as always I hope you're having a wonderful beautiful awesome day or night wherever you are and if you aren't I truly hope it gets better for you I love you guys and I will see you very soon with the next one